parents welcome back to my channel with another science tutorial video today in my today's video I am going to explain you one of the most important part of biology chapters that is food preservation so let's get started processing of food to prevent their spoilage and to retain their nutritive value for long periods is called food preservation now the question is why we should preserve our food or why food preservation is necessary in our life. Fungi and bacteria are decomposers. They are responsible for decomposition of dead organic matter. When fungi and bacteria come to contact with food, they begin to decompose the food and release chemical toxins that is poisons. This makes the food contaminated or spoiled and it is dangerous for our health if we eat them. So it is necessary to preserve the food from these kind of fungi and bacteria. We have to preserve our food in a proper manner to save those from the harmful bacteria and germs and to save our health from dangerous stomach infections and other diseases. We should preserve our food from the harmful activities of microbes that is bacteria and fungi, insects that is flies and weevils, rodents that is mice and rat, and natural chemical changes within the food. Food should therefore be kept covered or kept in closed containers. However, it is not always possible to keep food away from microbes. It is therefore much better to kill the microbes or to make sure that the conditions are not suitable for their growth. This will prevent foodborne diseases and keep food fit to be eaten for a longer period. Let's discuss different types of food preservation process. Canning is done to package or preserve food or drink by putting it in sealed airtight containers. Microbes cannot grow in dry conditions, so water is removed from some vegetables and fruits by drying them into the sun. This is called sun drying. Fruits and vegetables can be preserved by using salt and then drying. Salt prevents the growth of microbes. Raw mangoes, lemons, gooseberries and vegetables like cauliflowers, onion and cucumbers are preserved in vinegar to give it a sharp or spicy flavor and eaten with other foods. This is called pickling. Fish, meat and other non-veg items can be preserved for a long time by covering them with ice. Fruits are preserved in the form of jams and jellies by adding sugar. Sugar removes water from cells and hence prevents the growth of microbes. We can preserve our food in refrigerator for a long time but there are some limitations we have to think about. Freezing stops the growth and increase of microbes but does not kill them. Frozen food after it is removed from the refrigerator should not be left in the open for long as the microbes will start increasing again. Food preservation is necessary to reduce wastage of food, increases the storage period, enables food to be transported to distant places and helps to store for future. So, I hope my today's video will become helpful for you. Do follow my channel to get more and more dislike interesting science and math tutorial videos for you. Bye bye students.